Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you another styling video but more of a comparison video. Um, I've been watching a lot of Greece related content lately on YouTube. A lot of people have been saying that the natural hair community really started out as a scam and a lot of these bloggers just wanted to sell their products and they made us believe that things that were already working for us no longer works and one of those things was the use of grease in our hair which we've historically used for the longest time my mom for example always tells me that i do way too much to my hair and you know she's washed her hair with just normal bar soap um she's washed her hair with omo and if you're from ghana you know what omo is omo is basically any um washing detergent any laundry detergent we call omo um, she says she's even used that to wash her hair. She's used basically just water and grease and I think the grease that she used was this Indian hemp which I also grew up on. Um, so yeah I just want to take you back to basics. I'm going to do the usual LCO method on one side of my hair and then on the other side I am going to do just water and grease. And then we're just going to see how that comes out. So I'm going to do a braid out because if the greasy side doesn't really come out right and it causes any problems, braids really allows my hair to stretch. So in my hair stretched state, I'm more able to fix any problems than when it's been in a twist because that doesn't give me much stretch. So that's why I've opted for the yeah. braid i'm going to start with the greasy parts because that's the bit that i'm more interested in so my hair is already damp but i am going to add more water so this cost me five pounds 49 which is not too bad and this is what it looks like it smells amazing by the way i remember it being quite minty when you put it on your scalp and it's got like brown bits in it i'm not sure if you can see it's got little brown bits in it. i guess that is the hemp so the ingredients are petrolatum paraffin fragrance indian hemp paraffinum liquidum soybean oil natural herbs coconut oil and almond oil so i'm not actually sure how much i am going to use because we have to be mindful that this is just grease that I'm putting on my hair. So I'm going to add more. I think I'm going to I'm going to have to be quite generous, so I'm adding a bit more. And I think one thing I'm not going to do is to put the grease on my scalp because uh I think that's a whole that's a whole other ball game. I don't want to clog my pores, but I don't mind putting it on my hair. So that's it. That's just grease and water. So add in more grease. I'm going to be a grease ball after this. I'm going to spray with more water. I think I've got enough grease now. So I've added more water. And this is what it's looking like. It feels really soft. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm supposed to comb my hair with grease in it because it feels uh, quite tucky so I'm not sure if this is a good idea okay so I'm going to start braiding okay the grease is very sticky <laughs> but I can imagine it making my um my braid out come out really nice but I think what will uh, help this grease to not be so tucky will be to add, um, will be to apply some coconut oil as my base before applying the grease because I don't like how it feels. That's bits of the, the hemp that you can see over there. <laughs> That's the only thing about this grease. You're going to have bits of these, this herb in your hair. But I like the way my my ends feel. Look at that. Nice. 
So I've gone and done it off camera. So look at that shine. So we're gonna do the right hand, well my right, your left, <laughs> the right hand side where I'm going to do the LCO method. So that is liquid, cream and then a thick oil but I like to start off with a light oil. My liquid is water as you've seen previously. And then I'm going to follow up with coconut oil. My cream is this Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner by Cantu. I'm going to follow up with castor oil as I was sealing back. I have gone and finished it all off camera. So this side is the side with the water and the Indian hemp grease and then this side I've got the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner, um, coconut oil and castor oil and water. So as you can see the the moisturizer part sort of drops, it drops more and it's a lot more heavy and I really can't wait to like take it I think it's gonna be so bomb but then this side has shrunken a bit so I don't and it's not as heavy so I imagine that this part when I take it out tomorrow is going to be big and more fluffy and then this part is going to be more defined but we shall so, see so it's I been four days no it's been three days I've been trying to film this video for the longest time but my hair refused to dry so here we go let's see how it turned out so this is how I've been wearing it in a ponytail I am hoping that it actually dried for real so this is the side with just the grease and water and this is the side with the LOCO method that I did. Okay, so I've gone and taken them all out and this is what they look like. I absolutely love them. Can you see the definition? I think they're quite shiny. They have a, a lot of shine and they're quite soft. I've gone and taken it all out. This side is very light and fluffy. It's heavy, but I don't think it's as heavy as this side. So I think this side is more fluffy, but this one's gonna hold the curls better. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. So I've gone and unraveled both sides and I have to say that I am in love with this greasy side. Um, this greasy side uh, is a lot heavier as you can see it has a lot more bounce and it's a bit more defined than the other side. And it's still soft and I'm just... Uh, I'm just so like I can't believe it I just cannot believe how it turned out it's amazing and I really love how it came out this side on the other hand is very fluffy and soft so it's more on the fluffy side it's not very defined as you can see it's not very defined it's just more on the fluffy side but look at that there's just so much the difference is just amazing I love it. I love, 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 love it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Which part do you guys like? I, I love it. So what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely start using the grease in my hair routine. I'm going to use it as a sealant because with this, Using it with just water and getting these results are amazing. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, Indian hemp going back all the way to my roots. 
I'm definitely not gonna go and use water and grease in my hair only because I don't think in the climate that we live in in the UK I don't think it would benefit my hair but I can understand why this would work perfectly in Ghana because the weather in Ghana it's so humid so I can understand how just using water and grease would be a perfect routine but I don't think I will be doing that but I absolutely love how it came out so if you've tried it let me know and also let's just talk about the whole natural hair community and how we're just so obsessed with products let me know in the comments below what you think about what we used to do and what we do now in terms of the products that we now use and all the different techniques that there is and and whatnot do you think are you more of a, a simple girl routine you're just sticking to your grease and a moisturizer and you're done or you're more into your your high-end um your high-end products doing all the shebang deep conditioning you know only using vegan products and all that just let me know because i think it's really important to have a balance i for one i'm not a big fan of all the parabens and stuff because i do know that they do have um health effect on us um which is not great but i don't mind using them every now and again so yeah i love how it turned out but let me know what you think and also thank you so much for watching and if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe because the family is growing every day so thank you for all who all you who have joined the journey and i love all your comments i reply to each and every one of them i share with anyone who you think might be interested yeah thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye